Hi, this is Rex from Icewig ZXC. I have here today one of the hardest to find GPU in 2017. Ladies and gentlemen, the AMD Radeon RX Vega 56. I will be trying out the Sapphire Pulse RX Vega 56 in 7 AAA games, maxing every graphic details available in 1080p. I will be using my Ryzen 7 1700 in stock settings without tweaking anything, and 16GB of RAM running at 2133MHz. So this is for the people who straight out bought their PC in a shop and doesn't know how to tweak their system, or will be tweaking at a later date. They will be getting this performance so keep this in mind, okay? I will compare it to my Radeon R929 just to see the difference of these cards. So let's go. The Vega 56 can run a little bit faster if I overclock my CPU and set my RAM speed to 2933 MHz. The advantage of Vega 56 against the Nvidia counterpart is FreeSync. You can buy a FreeSync monitor for as low as 15,000 pesos. And if you're lucky, you can find one for 10,000 pesos. It is cheaper than a G-Sync monitor. But at this time, upon recording this video, the RX Vega 56 is priced at a whopping 40,000 pesos or more. Yikes! So until the GPU prices goes back to normal, the RX Vega 56 is not really a worthy buy, for now, in my honest opinion. But if it goes to its suggested retail price, I would buy it. This wraps it up. I hope you enjoyed the video. Until the next one. See ya!